What's up? What's going on? It's Hyde and Reed. What is it? It's Saturday afternoon. Just finished the house chores. Probably gonna run off, go to church or something. And uh, let's just go over all the books that I bought for whatever reason. It's a Hyde and Reed book haul. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's Hyde and Reed. You even bored of hearing this yet? I got a whole stack of books. We're good for that. Boom. Let's get through it. It's a bunch of kids playing outside in the backyard, so if you hear screaming and stuff, not too much I could do about that. It's the weekend. It's nice out, too. I gotta get outside. Um... Okay, yeah, let's start with, um, yeah, let's do the westerns real quick. We always got westerns. We got a lot of westerns over here. So, previously I read Longmire series. I think I read three, three of them. I, I did at least one review for the weekly western review I wrap up. I think that was our first video, actually, and... I just didn't really like the Longmire series. Um, yeah, whatever, I don't even feel like talking about it, to be honest. It's just, I didn't like it. But I wanted to like it, and so I'm looking for similar things. And so, um, pick this up. CJ Box. The Bitter Roots. Uh, this one, it, it's a female detective Cassie Duell and she's she has like a private practice um yeah he has a lot of different characters that are serialized and yeah let's try it out CJ Box I know a couple guys on here are big fans of this author doesn't hurt to try um got a copy of The Revenant who's this by Michael Punk. I've seen the movie. Um, but I didn't know it was a book, so. I think this is kind of recent, too. The book that inspired the movie. Two thousand two. For us, that's recent. Oh, this is tough. Any Bible readers out there? It's always cool stuff in the Bible. It's kind of like one of the coolest books ever. We'll talk about that some other time. Um, yeah, still going with the Westerns. Nice that I found a Louis L'Amour. I feel like these are kind of hard to find used, especially in this nice condition. Borden Shentry. I'm going to read all of them. I don't even care. It's happening. Uh, let's see. This is not Western, but we're starting to, you know, move out of the genre. Robert B. Parker, Wilderness. Uh, I think this is, this will be fun because it's about an author that writes action-adventure books and then gets caught up in an action adventure plot in real life and I think he has to like run out to the woods in Maine or something so this will be fun Robert Parker Wilderness I like knives I don't know if there's a knife on the cover you got my attention it's always good to have something on you Especially you guys out there. If you're not carrying a knife, I don't know what's going on. Nobody says that you need to use it every day. And you don't need to carry a giant one, but something, please. All right. Speaking of knives, look at this cover. I'm reading more of these uh, international, like, European murder mysteries, I guess. Or I'm buying them, at least. I'm reading one right now. Uh, yeah, I really like the cover design here. 
Joanna Mo, The Night Singer. I picked this up at, at Dollar General or whatever they Dollar Tree, whatever they call it now for a dollar twenty-five. Uh yeah. That's a bargain. That's a bargain, even if you don't read it. Oh, I forgot I have one more Western. Somebody somebody gave this to me. Uh they know the author. I think they work with them. And uh they know that I read Western genre, so. Mark Cavella, Tabernacle. I imagine this is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm not really sure what it's about. I think there's like a, a salesman and he has to go to Texas and make like one of the biggest sales of his career. And in order to do this, he like pretends that he's into like all this stuff that the, um, the guy that he's selling to is into like pro wrestling or I'm not sure. We'll see. It's, it says it's funny on the back, like a dark comedy. And he adopts a child for some reason, I don't know, to make himself more likable or something, who knows? Must be a big sale. Okay. Um, how about this one? This is kind of cool. I started following um, a channel. Her name is, her channel name is Heroin Bob. Uh, I think that's from, what is that, what's that movie? Oh, crap. Something City Punk. What the heck is the name? I'm having a brain fart, guys. Whatever. There's a character in there named Heroin Bob, and he doesn't even take aspirin, so. I'm sure she's a nice lady. She seems very nice. Um. But yeah, I bought this book from her, Sci-Fi Masterworks, Time Out of Joint, Philip K. Dick. I always wanted to read this. There's um, a song by an artist called Time Out of Joint that I enjoyed as a young man. And uh, yeah, so I knew about the book before I even knew about the book. And look how nice it is. She packaged it like really clean. She has, um, oh, guys, I'm just losing it right now. I need another coffee. What is the name of this app? I don't know. I'm going to leave the, the link for the app. And when I signed up under her name, I got like $15 or something for, for this app. So, um, yeah, I'll leave the link for the video. Um, from her channel and if you look in the description of that video, it'll have the referral and you can get $15 and uh, Yeah, you'll probably get one or two free books out of that, right? You could thank me later. So yeah, look down in the description and I'll have her Her video at least linked and then you guys can Do what you want, but yeah, I, I picked this up SF Masterworks, Philip K. Dick. I might I might collect these. These are nice. I like a lot, I want to read a lot of the science fiction stuff. I have a lot of it, but in mass market paperback, I don't know if it's, I'm getting old or whatever, but I'm just too, I'm too spoiled maybe. My eyes get tired, especially in the morning, so. <clears throat> I think I'm having like some kind of issue with nerves or something in my neck, whatever. Who cares, right? Finally get to listen to audiobooks. Worst case. Uh, all right. No sob stories. We're collecting hard case crime. The local used book sailor knows that I'm looking for these books. I think I have enough of them now that I should make a list of the ones that I am looking for. And uh, yeah, we picked up another one. This is Cornell Woolrich, Fright. There you go. Check that cover out. Yeah, not the best condition. It's like a, a library uh, discard, looks like. That's fine. Not bothered by that. Yeah. I, I'm collecting these to read them. So. It'll read just fine. That's Fright. Cornell Woolrich. And, uh. 
Yeah, it says it wasn't even published underneath his real name, and this is the first time it's been in print for 50 years, so. And for, for a story to come into print after 50 years and get a cover like that, that's pretty awesome. So that's why I'm collecting these hard case crimes. Probably maybe just, you know, the first, like, I don't know. I can't see collecting more than the first hundred. This is number... 34! Hard crease crime. Okay. I don't, I don't have any, like, horror, basically. Um, I have a lot of horror manga, but we don't really talk about that on this channel yet. Um, and I'm setting up my TBR, so kind of freaking out that there's some genres missing. Like I barely, I don't. There's not much sci-fi or or fantasy on my TBR right now, and I'm kind of nervous about it because I just I don't want to all like in six months just want to read Lord of the Rings or something. Like I don't know, but. I have the shelf behind me. It's right here. Uh, maybe the next video we'll go over what's on there so far. And yeah, it's kind of cool to have a physical representation of your to be read. Anyway, Clive Barker, Hellbound Heart. This is a cool one, right? I never saw the movie, believe it or not. I should definitely watch Hellraiser, though. Um, yeah, it's a cool book. It's a short read. I need a I need a couple more short ones for the TBR to like even out. I'm reading like 1Q84 right now. War and Peace is on there. What a nightmare. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm always looking for young adult and um, young adult books. I don't know anything about these. Chris Grabenstein. Stein, The Crossroads, and The Smoky Corridor. And it looks like he has, um, you know, a whole series. So, Zach Jennings. I don't know. They look cool, though. And I'll probably read both of them. Yeah, it just looks like something I would enjoy. And it's, it's good to have something... A little bit easier to read every now and then. Um, yeah, I think that closes it up. That's everything I bought. Um, man, I'm getting more and more nervous every time I buy books because I know I have to read them. So, I don't know. If you've been watching these videos or maybe go back and watch a previous one. Um, yeah, the TBR is building up and... I think the next video I'll talk about it more formally and yeah I, I would really encourage you guys to if you, if you don't have one and you're you're reading or you want to read more just go ahead and and do that don't even I'm not setting goals or anything I'm just trying to see exactly what I want to read and how long it's going to take to read this stuff that I'm going to be honest it's kind of depressing and uh you can't read everything and you know brace yourself I don't think sitting around reading books all day is really even that cool um, so the time that I have to read books I want to be it's not that it has to be important but I don't want to be wasting my time I don't want to waste my time so getting older getting older running right? yeah you know you realize Time is limited to do the things you want to do, and hopefully you guys have some cool hobbies out there. So, and and reading is just adding to your your life. That your life isn't like some obsessive consumption of of books. Because to be honest, most of these books don't matter for anything. Okay, we're here for a short time. Try to enjoy yourself, and uh, you know, find a good place to hide. Find a good book to read. It's hide and read, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.